60%? 80%. Wow. 80%. No men. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, so, so, it's, so it's, just, it's, it's just a vicious cycle. It's, not, it's worse than a cycle. It's just a disaster that just keeps piling on top of itself. Mm -hmm. We used to be able to address but, 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 separate problems. Yeah, we can't do that anymore. Well, do, They're do, all interrelated. Do you think it's time, Dan? Let me... Let me do you think it's time that we look at government differently? I mean, do, do you well, think, I think it's time to look stop, at... Number one, stop thinking government's going to solve our problems. Okay. Government can't and won't solve and never has solved our problem. It is a silly proposition. Mm -hmm. There is too many restrictions. For example, people don't even understand the city budget. Mm -hmm. do they, they don't, you talk about the downtown businesses, right. and they're always complaining about them, right? 39% right. uh -huh. of our budget is from the wage tax. City residents pay it, but all of those people who work in downtown Wilmington pay the wage tax. 39%. That's the biggest that's, chunk that's, of money yeah, that's a we get. Percent. Property taxes only bring in 24%. You raise taxes on the property by 10%, and guess how much money you can get from that? Only $3 million. Hmm. So, Is it time to look at the nonprofit buildings that are getting exempt? There's a lot of things that need to be looked at. I think that nonprofits should pay some some form of in lieu of tax, just mm -hmm. like we now get some money from the state in lieu of tax. I think nonprofits should also. Well, this, this, well, this is they good, do pay the wage tax. This is a good segue. I, I'm a Rotarian. I was at the Rotary meeting, and your, your, your former chief of staff said he thinks that next year we should raise taxes 15%. What do you think? <laughs> it's nice to say. Uh -huh. prag pragmatically, I don't think it will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't cut your way out of these problems. The projections the fiscal officers show, Bill's right in the sense that you're going to have to raise taxes because the projections are nothing but deficits as far as they can see. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a structural financial problem that's been going on with the city for years. Number one, by not being able to annex legitimate lake like every other jurisdiction in this state, yeah. this city can't do that. Why is that? Well, it's restricted by law simple. Mm -hmm. But this city should be a very large city. We should be somewhere around 200,000. And we should be out as far as uh, uh, the uh, 202, Edmure, 141. Edmure, uh -huh. We should be out by the airport. Right. We should be as far uh, going south out Route 9, all those little communities and right. everything all the way to Newcastle should be in the city of Wilmington, mm -hmm. going north all the way up Pennsylvania, uh, uh, Philadelphia Pike, we should be all the way out there mm -hmm. to Bellevue and that area out there. I mean, there's a huge area of the city that is not in the city, but it should be, because if you look at the experimental station, I, I know you weren't around, but when Mayor McLaughlin happened to mention that he thought the experimental station for DuPont Company should be in the city, annexed into the city, they had a fit. Mm -hmm. They went to the governor <laughs> and to the General Assembly and blah, blah, blah. Well, it died quickly, I'm right, telling you. Right. But <clears throat> uh, the city has been, it's the golden goose of the state, but it's been treated like a stepchild all of its existence. Yeah. And it isn't just about race and all these other things that people can conjure up. <coughs> Excuse me. It started in the late 1800s when Wilmington had the major population, had very wealthy people and all of that living in it. Uh, the rest of the state was jealous of Wilmington and tried to figure out how to limit its power. Hmm. So that's when it began. It was in the late 1800s and it's been that way ever since. If you listen to a lot of people who, who discuss Wilmington in Dover, uh, Wilmington's always, well, Wilmington gets this, Wil I, Wilmington gets all the, what, all what money? <laughs> you know, yeah. think about it. Uh, or Wilmington, 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 you know, what do we care about them people up there? <laughs> you know, I don't like but, that. But, but you're used to that. Let, no, let, no, let, no, let, but let, it let, shouldn't be. The let, Civil War ended in 1865. Right, right. Okay, let, get over it. <laughs> let, me, let me change the conversation for one second. Let's let's talk about crime for a second. Crime, yeah. Are, are you are you frustrated, man? I mean, and, and, and let's well, be I honest. It's, 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 but it's it's mostly black on black crime. Right, I and know. And people, it's, are, but but here's the problem, though. though. Nobody wants to recognize it as for what it is. It's a national problem. All the mayors now, U.S. Conference of Mayors, 
League of Cities, Conference of Black Mayors are all saying the same thing for once. This is a national problem. It needs to be dealt with. Here's Chicago. Mm -hmm. was held up at one time as the model of how to reduce gun violence and, mm -hmm. and shootings and all like that because they went and did safe communities which we are being beat over the head about we should do safe right. communities we and we are doing it now <coughs> excuse me Chicago's been doing it for years Professor Kennedy's program right just a month ago they had 59 murders in one weekend hmm. Murder has gone up 38%. Philadelphia had 23 murders in one weekend. Mm. Chester called out the National Guard for a while. Mm -hmm. It's in Baltimore, it's in Washington, it's in even New York's, they keep it quiet, but New York's murder rate has gone up. It is not Wilmington, it is everywhere that you look. So, so in African American communities, Guns are being made freely, almost, you know, almost pouring what, in what, by the, the, what, the what, what drugs does it, is the same What does way. it make you mad when people say that your deployment plan is just not working? Of course it does, because mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense. It's mm -hmm. a stupid way to look at things. Mm -hmm. Because police pick up the mess. Mm -hmm. They cannot, I think Norman's going to commit a crime, so I'm going to sit here and wait and, or I'm going to arrest you before you even start. Listen, when someone wants to do something bad, they do it. Mm -hmm. Your police have to then respond to that fact that a crime has been committed. Mm -hmm. They can't say pre-committed a crime. Uh, if you look at Colorado, for example, right. it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. A guy goes in and he kills 12 people. Everybody in the country is upset, but it happened before Colorado, Virginia, mm -hmm. but, and other places. But you, you so know, we're just playing games over but, but you and I have the had causes these, of the crime. Yeah, but you and I, he, he got a glass of water for you. Cause, ah, thank you. But you and I have had these conversations oh, privately, yeah, right? Right. But, but Mayor, let, let, let's be honest. I would think that you, a, a person who's been in politics, or been in this arena for 40 mm -hmm. years, I would, and then you just raffled off about 20, 30 accomplishments. Right. Don't you? Don't that frustrate you a little bit when people uh, attack you? You call them stupid. Well, so, I, so you got to be frustrated. I'm not frustrated. I just have fun calling people nasty names. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't really mean it. Oh yes, I do. <laughs> okay. I mean that's what I'm saying. I'm having fun. Uh, listen, I don't mind calling you stupid if you are. If you say something stupid, why do you say it? If not, think about it. But I'm supposed to sit there. Jeez, that's a that's a point. That's that's really interesting, Norm. Right. I th I think we should discuss that further. Right. No, you're saying something stupid. Mm -hmm. um, but look at all of the information. People don't pay attention. And and we here's another figure. African American child goes into school. White child goes into school. They're put in the same classroom, taught the same way and expecting the same results. Mm -hmm. However, that African-American child has only 1,500 word knowledge. Mm -hmm. The white child has 20,000 or better word knowledge. Hmm. Now, you can't put them in the same room with the same circumstances, the same kind of teaching, and expect the same results. That 1,500 word knowledge kid is not going to catch up with that 20,000. That's a big that's a big. It's a huge gap. Yeah. And then we talk about the educational gap. You, in, a, in every place they've done it, where they've really taken uh, minority kids, Hispanics, African Americans, and really worked with them, guess what? They excel. Mayor, Mayor you're, go you're going to be tired in what, like five months? You, you're going to get out of public life. And you probably still be in public life because I'm sure you, a lot of people. I don't know. I'm, do, I, what, I, what, are you, what are you going to do? Oh, I don't want to.